The Staircraft Group were established almost 40 years ago and today are the world's largest staircase manufacturer. We'd like to share our experience in order to assist with the assembly of a staircase on site. The following clip shows how to assemble a winder staircase pre-installation. If you require full installation guidance, please view the BWF installation guide at www.bwf.org.uk. Here's some assembly tips. Carry the staircase in as shown. The weight and size of the staircase needs to be considered when determining the number of operatives required to lift. Ensure you have bearers ready to initially take the staircase. Never carry the staircase by the string. Stand the staircase on the wall string side. Clear and sweep the plot to ensure a clean and even surface. Check the traceability label for the correct site, plot, house type and handing. Note the FFL, finished floor level dimension. Now physically check the finished floor height matches the label. A discrepancy of more than plus or minus 5 mm should be reported to the site manager and the stairs should not be fitted. Scan the first QR code to view stair graph. Check the approved design and check all components listed have been brought into the plot. Scan the second QR code to view the installation guidance. Now you are ready to assemble the stairs. Place the stairs onto the clean and level floor. Glue the mortise with PVA and fit to the string. Prop and support the newel post. Raise the level and check for square against the tread using a roofing square, not a level. This is the most critical part to get right in order to avoid issues later. Once positioned square, the dowels can be glued with PVA and knocked in. Finally, recheck the newel post is still square to the tread. To assemble the winder section, slide the treads into the pre-routed housings on the string in the newel post. Fix firmly in place by screwing the winder treads into the newel post. Using plenty of PVA glue, glue the wedges into place ensuring a tight fit. Glue the entire surface of the mitre joint on the return string and fix to the main string using the locating dowels provided. Screw through the mitre joint to fix the strings together. Use a roofing square to check the strings are square. Continue to fit all the winder treads. Offer the trunk nosing into position and screw to the newel post and the string. Winder risers are supplied in oversized lengths to be cut to suit on site. Once cut, use PVA glue on the back of the tread and the routed housing in the tread above. Fit the riser. Glue the wedge housings in the string and the newel post and knock the wedges tightly into place. Or mechanically fit the risers to the string or the newel post where a wedge can't be fitted. Mechanically fix the risers to the back edge of the tread as per the BWF guidelines. Continue to fit all risers. Apply glue to the glue blocks provided and position accordingly. A minimum of three glue blocks should be placed on all internal steps and a minimum of two to all external angles depending on the length of the treads as per the BWF guidelines. Additional glue blocks are supplied on lower junctions, providing a three times stronger connection in the tread and riser joint. This also provides a fixing surface for an understair soffit. Carry out a final visual check to ensure all components are fitted correctly. Do a final check with the roofing square to check the newel posts are square to the adjacent treads. Staircraft have plenty of guidance documents available. 
download the Staircraft install app or visit our website www.staircraftgroup.com and click on the Resource Centre button.